Uh, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, my colleague ministers and ministers of state, the members of parliament, Your Excellency, the Chairman, the leadership of Mbale, the Omukuka, Wabama Saba. All of you people of Mbale, Mulibalai, Mulembe, Kamakua, Mwanya Lakuiza. Your Excellency, I want to add my voice to that of uh, our daughter, Onarebanite, in congratulating you. You have been the chief sower, sowing the mustard seed. When I look at the infrastructure in Uganda, the roads, the electricity infrastructure, generation, transmission, and the distribution network that we are working on, indeed, I see the mustard seed that you have been sowing. Like the Bible says, that everything has its time. I think it's time for harvesting. But sowing and harvesting go together, especially where the soils are very fertile. <coughs> Uganda is fertile in as far as investment is concerned because you together with the gallant sons and daughters of Uganda, you worked for peace. And peace is a prerequisite of development. We are here celebrating because you chose to take that road of pacifying this country. We are now seeing industrial parks mushrooming in Arua and other parts of the country because we have peace. Your Excellency, I'm aligned to the demands of electricity. We are aligned in the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development my electricity regulatory authority and the other companies, UEGCL, UETCL, UEDCL, are aligned. We've just passed a generation, a, an energy policy in the cabinet, and we want to see Uganda's electricity generation capacity reaching 52,000 megawatts by 2040. We are aligned. Your Excellency, I am aware of the challenges of electricity in Imbari and in Bugisu region. I am aware of the intermittent power. And we have worked to make sure that we solve this problem, Your Excellency. Because on the part of generation, the government plants alone, when you add the generation capacity from the government plants, Naruvali, Chira, Isimba, Karuma, is 1,163 megawatts. If we intensify the transmission and distribution network, the price will be no more. So Your Excellency, I know that Karuma will be commissioned this year we have already done uh, four units, which we have synchronized successfully, remaining two units. And if it wasn't for the vandalism that took place on Karuma Kawanda line, where five towers were vandalized, we would have seen the whole of 600 megawatts from Karuma having been fully pulled to the national grid. But the contractor assured us that by October, Karuma Kawanda line, line will be okay. It will be commissioned. So with our substations that we have put in place in Soroti Opuyo, because Opuyo is very critical, because the people of Mbale pull power from that side, from Lira, Soroti, to Mbale. And Your Excellency, as I speak now, that line was upgraded. It is, a met it, it is a metallic towers. And so the issue of unreliability due to weak systems 
will be no more. So Mbale will get power using that route. I also know that we have a challenge of a wooden pole, a wooden uh, transmission line from Tororo to Mbale, which we had planned long ago to upgrade, but we faced a challenge with some of the project affected people. But we have now taken a decision, sir, that we are going to use the route that we already acquired where the wooden uh, line passes. My engineers have told me that it's enough space to accommodate the metallic towers. And so I'm not going to kneel down before the project affected people who are drilling us. So I want to assure the people of Mbali that with that line upgraded, the issue of unreliability of power will be no more. Your Excellency Mbale can also get power from Narubale. Narubale through Jinja and Mbale. So we shall be having two routes. So I want to assure the chairman of the industrial park that we have security. If one line faces a problem, then we will get power from uh, Narubale. Um, we are also making sure that the plants that belong to government are managed by our own people we have trained. Your Excellency, you've given Ugandans chance for training. As I speak now, Narubale and Chira dams, that is 380 megawatts from both dams, is under the management of Uganda Electricity Generation Company, our company. Government-owned company. So we are building capacity. Lastly, before I sit down, I know that this park has been yearning for a permanent substation. We had uh, engaged the CAMC in 2019, and we thought that CAMC was, uh, this is a Chinese company, that they were going to construct the substation, but we had challenges with them. So I want to thank the chairman of the park for having come with a request for government to allow you to prefinance this project of uh, uh, constructing a substation. And we have granted that. And I want to thank you because you're going to use your money, you're not going to borrow money, so we don't expect any interest. And you assured me that you are going to construct the substation without any interest. That's very good. I want to thank you so much. You've made that contribution. And I know that Honorable Matia Kasaija will not hesitate to support this so that we can, they can, we can pay the money within three years. They accepted three years. The mobile substation is indeed supposed to be mobile, to be on standby for deployment in case we need express deployment. So I need it. Therefore, you are helping me. But I had also uh, found out whether we cannot procure more, more mobile substations because I know that there is a steel factory which is going to be commissioned within six to eight months, which will require more power. That one is also going to be sorted out. I have consulted, and Your Excellency, if need be, we will have the mobile station to improve on the supply of power to that steel factory, which is about to be commissioned within eight months. So we want you to relax, Your Excellency. You have been sewing, you have been working since your childhood. Some of us would like to see you handle the geo, 
the mega things, the geopolitics, the geo, so that the Wazukuru can come on board when you are still, you know, energetic and you can continue guiding us. That's why we shall pray for you. We will continue praying for you and we shall continue telling those who would like to reap where they have not contributed to stay put so that we can prepare for the entire country. Once again, thank you so much. And I would like to thank the mayor of Umbale for your speech. You've spoken very well. Continue appreciating the work of NRM and continue praying for the chairman of NRM party so that he can continue with his visionary leadership. And thank you so much, Obama Saba, Mwanyala Navi, Mwanyala Kweza. Thank you very much. May God bless you. I would like to invite Onamatia Kasaija to come and give your remarks. And please invite His Excellency to speak to us. Thank you very much.